to another titillating orgasmic edition of Radical Rock and Record Reviews with me, your host, Wild Rod Bassist Vic Watkins. And on today's episode, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do something that I like to call, cheers, the artist spotlight, ladies and gentlemen. And the artist that I'd like to focus on, the very first artist spotlight, would be none other than Fresno, California's own new wave of traditional heavy metal masters. We're talking about the mighty Haunt. And this is their new album right here that just came out a couple months ago. It's called Flashback, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a fucking beast. But later on, we're gonna do an unboxing of the new Haunt album on vinyl, Flashback. But before we do that, I'd like to educate you on the greatness of Haunt. We're gonna take a little trip through the discography and the career thus far of Trevor and the boys in Haunt. Talking about, ladies and gentlemen, I first figured out about Haunt on the, well, it, it's a Facebook group that I'm in for the now defunct, sadly defunct, the greatest hard rock heavy metal podcast of all time. We're talking about Dr. Fuck Ralph Vieira and Wadzilla Ian Wadley's former podcast, the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast. Okay, I'm on that page. Lots of cool fucking people. Lots of people that I've made friends with over the years. And anyway, I'm on there checking out shit, reading people's reviews, listening to people's tunes they posted. And somebody posted the YouTube link of Haunt. And it was of this. Haunt's debut release, 2018's epic EP, four-track EP. We're talking about Luminous Eyes, okay? And I saw that link, and I saw the logo, and I saw the cool fucking album cover. And I was like, dude, that looks like the... Looks like a VHS cover of an old 80s sci-fi movie. Or an old 80s sci-fi comic book. And I was like, dude, that's right up my alley. I was like, that artwork is so cool. It's like, it's gotta, it's gotta sound cool, it has to. So anyway, I clicked on that link. I clicked on that link and followed it over to YouTube. And what I heard blew me away. It was like this sci-fi, sounds like a lost record from 1980 or 1981, a part of the new wave of British heavy metal movement. You know, it kind of had like the kind of the dual kind of you know, the kind of Whitley Iron Maiden type of riffs mixed with like the vocal and the heavy riffs of Angel Witch. So early Paul Diano era Iron Maiden mixed with early Angel Witch. And then, you know, with the also kind of the dark, mysterious, like ominous, melodic vocals of like, let's say, Blue Oyster Cold or Ghost. I'm telling you what, guys, hearing this blew me away. And I was like, fuck yeah. I got a new favorite band, and I just started following them from then on. So I ordered the album, got it right here. Haunt's debut EP, Luminous Eyes, was released in 2018 by Shadow Kingdom Records. There's the back. And, you know, band leader and principal songwriter Trevor William Church, who's also the son of Bill the Electric Church, Montrose bassist and Sammy Hagar bassist, he has totally went to the Gene Simmons School of Merchandising. I'm telling you what, dude, every Haunt release, which you will see, they're always released on these awesome killer pre vinyl pressings. It's fucking cool, man. So I got this Haunt Luminous Eyes. Fell in love with Haunt, one of my favorite modern heavy metal bands. I'm telling you, check out that cool fucking vinyl. I think this was like called a Starburst vinyl or something. And this still might be available on Haunt's Bandcamp. I mean, look at that. One of the coolest looking records I have in my whole collection, dude. But anyway, just the fucking tunes blew me away. I fell in love with Haunt. And it's been quite a journey ever since, man. I mean, the album kicks off with just the first song I heard about on the title track, Luminous Eyes. It almost sounds like, yeah, like a like a badass mixture of like Angel Witch and Blue Oyster Cold. It's crazy. It's, so you kicks off with track number one, Luminous Eyes. Track number two, As Fire Burns. Track number three, No Master. Track number four, Fallen Star. Dude, give this a listen. Give it a spin. So then, not that long later, Haunt releases their debut full-length EP. 
And this fucking blew me away with the cool, ominous, dark, mysterious, blue oyster cult vibe mixed with the cool, hard riffage of Angel Witch. And then on this album, they kind of add like a, almost like the dual kind of melodic soloing of like Thin Lizzy. It's crazy, dude. Just the talentless band's insane. We're talking about the first full length haunt album as their shit burst into flame. Fucking killer stuff, dude. The album kicks off with the title track, Burst Into Flame. Track number two, and probably my overall favorite haunt song, Crystal Ball. Dude, when this video's over, when this video's over, Google or look up on YouTube, Haunt Crystal Ball. Dude, it'll fucking blow your mind. No shit, dude. Track number three, Reflectors. Track number four, My Mirage. Track number five, Wanderlust. Track six, Frozen in Time. Track seven, Heroes. Track eight, I Can't Get Back. And the final track, Looking Glass. This album just fucking kills it. Kills it. And it was released on this awesome looking kind of orange and black and red splattered split vinyl. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm telling you. Gene Simmons marketing right here. Marketing genius. Trevor William Church is. Got the cool fucking haunt logo. Check it out. Beautiful vinyl. I'm telling you, some of the coolest vinyl I have in the whole collection are these haunt records. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. And it comes with the cool inner. Showing the lineup that was on this album. Even though I think that the, I think the first couple releases, Luminous Eyes and Burst Into Flame, were just recorded with Trevor William Church doing lead vocals, guitar, and bass, and the drums by the mighty Daniel Wolfie Wilson. But right here you have a picture of the, I think the first full-length haunt lineup. You have Trevor William Church. Daniel Wolfie Wilson, John Michael Tucker, who's like a modern day guitar god. Both these dudes are Trevor and John Michael Tucker. Fucking should be legends. Future rock and roll shredder legends. And then this dude, I don't think he played bass on this album, but I think he was the first bassist of Haunt. His nephew, Matthew Willett. So check that out. And then on the other side, you get the cool lyric sheet, Shadow Kingdom Records. Awesome release. Awesome release. And at that point in time, to me, Hunt totally kicked it up and, uh, you know, got better with this release, Burst Into Flame. And I was like, dude, what's the next album going to be like? And I only had to wait like maybe six months. And Hunt releases their second full-length album, third uh, release overall, and currently my favorite album in the Hunt discography. We're talking about the mighty, modern classic, known only as Psh, If Icarus Could Fly. Dude, awesome. The album kicks off with a song called Run and Hide, that right when you hear it, it sounds like a lost track from the like, Ultimate Sin, Jakey Lee, Ozzy Osbourne era. To me, I'm like, dude, that sounds like a fucking song that could have been on the Ultimate Sin. Kicks you right in the nuts, dude. It goes into probably my favorite track on this album called It's In My Hands. It goes into Cosmic Kiss, Ghost. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Clarion, Clarion maybe? Clarion, Winds of Destiny, If Icarus Can Fly, and Defender. Dude, excellent album, my favorite haunt release. It's got a cool autograph from Trevor William Church. Badass. I ordered, now this vinyl was called Beer and Black. Love it. Check that shit out, dude. Epic. Got the Cool Icarus logo on there. Cool Icarus logo on there. So yeah, this is so far my favorite Haunt release. I think their overall best album. And this album also introduced bass player Taylor Hallman to the band. So see you got on the inner. Trevor William Church, vocals and guitar. John Michael Tucker, was guitar and background vocals, Taylor Holloman, bass and backup vocals, and Daniel Wolfie Wilson on drums. You've got the cool Icarus logo on there, cool lyric sheet. I'm telling you, dude. Killer stuff. Every album just keeps getting better. And you're like, holy shit. And just 
the pace that these dudes work at. You know, they're like a 70s band. You know, back in the 70s when bands like Kiss and Aerosmith and ACDC and Alice Cooper and shit. Sometimes these bands would put out a full-length album, two of them a year. In five years, you'd have like five or six albums. That's what Haunt's doing, and that's what impresses me, and that's what's so fun to love a band like that, that you don't get bored on an album, you know? I mean, nowadays, a lot of bands release a record, and then you gotta wait three or four years for the follow-up. Not with Haunt, dude. They keep it interesting. They keep it going. They keep it fresh. And speaking of being fresh, I remember that album came out in, like, early 2019 by, let's say, maybe March. And by May of 2019, we already got another EP, dude. Check it out. In Mosaic Vision. This album's fucking killer. Every Haunt release has been stellar so far. But from what I know, from what I think uh, Trevor said in one of his live videos on Facebook, that this was recorded. This is basically left over from the um, Luminous Eyes sessions. Maybe because time restraints or budgeting or something. I don't know what it was that uh, um, Trevor left these four songs off of Luminous Eyes. So you know what he does? Releases these and another kick-ass just release. 2019's Mosaic Vision. With this great songs kicks off with a fucking nutsack stomping triumph. Then it goes into my favorite track on the album, the title track, Mosaic Vision. Then it goes into In Show of Flames and closes the album with the epic a song that eventually, when I see Haunt live, which unfortunately I haven't seen them yet, I would love to see this included in the set list because it's one of my favorite Haunt songs, Calluses. Epic release. And honestly, dude, this is one of, I think, Haunt's best releases. It's got a very kind of good melodic, melodic edge to it with great choruses, great hooky choruses. And here's the inner. Got some cool artwork on a nice glossy paper. Shadow King of Records always kills it. Check that out. Cool lyrics and stuff. I'm telling you, Trevor, John, Daniel, and Taylor, killing it, man. So then you put this back in there. And this vinyl came out on a gorgeous, check this out, dude. Kind of gold and purple, maybe magenta vinyl. Check that out. Fucking awesome, dude. I'm telling you. Go on Haunt's Bandcamp. HauntTheNationBandCamp.com Score you some of these, man. Go on YouTube. Listen to some Haunt. All their stuff's on there. Fuck, I dropped it. You know, and give them a listen, dude. If you love, you know, let's say, if you love bands like Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Thin Lizzy, Blue Oyster Cult, Ghost, Metallica, early Ozzy Osbourne, especially Jakey Lee Ozzy Osbourne, Dude, you'll fall in love with Haunt. Fucking killer. One of the best modern heavy metal hard rock bands going. So then, right there. That is their fourth overall release. So then here you go. Early 2020, right before the coronavirus zombie invasion hits, Haunt releases their third full-length album. And with this release, they start to incorporate... Uh, synthesizers and keyboards you know and I was like mm, what's this gonna be like but you know what I trust uh, Trevor and the boys and they fucking delivered and with this release 2020 album of the year for me contender we're talking about 2020's just majestic release mind freeze and this album cover totally fits this the synthesizers are like this eerie, dark, spooky, John Carpenter-esque, into a Halloween 3 type of uh, synthesizers that added so freaking tastefully. Did I just see freaking? So fucking tastefully to the music. It totally takes on a notch up, dude. This album just has a kind of an icy, dark, cold production to it that just fit the wintertime atmosphere of when it came out. And kind of the eeriness of the looming doom, the impending doom of the coronavirus invasion that we didn't know what the fuck was going on. Definitely one of the best albums of the year. And this album just fucking rules, man. Like the beacon of remembrance, hearts on fire. And my favorite track, 
track number three. A song that if this was the 80s, this song would be all over MTV as the music video hits. This song should be all over mainstream rock metal radio. Go on YouTube, watch the fucking music video. It's called Mind Freeze. Probably my favorite song of 2020, no shit. Mind Freeze rules. Divide and conquer. Saves, saviors of man, excuse me. Fight or flight. Have no fear. On the stage and voyeur. You know, honestly, this album, as I'm going through the track listing and I'm singing the, the songs, this album might have some of the best haunt choruses, I'm telling you. You know, they just pierce through your brain like some fucking early docking did. Very much of a, now that I bring that up, uh, Haunt's got a very kind of tooth and nail under lock and key docking vibe about them. I don't know if they're an influence. I think probably. You can definitely hear a strong docking influence in lots of Haunt. But this album rolls. Album of the Year contender. Their third full length release overall and just two years it's fucking and this I think this is the coolest haunt release or the haunt vinyl pressing yet check this out this is called pinwheel check that shit out beautiful my favorite vinyl pressing of haunt so far check that out dude wow fucking cool I'm telling you go to haunt hauntthenationbandcamp.com give these guys some of your money they totally deserve it New wave of traditional heavy metal kings. And then you got the cool lyric sheet. Check that out. Kind of getting icy. Tell you this artwork, that icy kind of dark, ominous artwork totally fits this album perfectly. Probably more than any of their records yet. Then you need to turn it around. Got some cool, more icy, dark, spooky artwork. Gotta love it, dude. Gotta love this album. Album of the year, contender for me. And speaking of album of the year, let me just tell you, see, each year I make a album, album, my top five albums uh, list on my Facebook and Instagram. And uh, last year for 2019, it, this album right here was my favorite album of the year, If It Chris Could Fly. Totally fucking slaughtered last year, easily. So then, you know, that, so Mind Freeze comes out early 2020, I believe in like February, okay? So you're like, Fuck yeah. Trevor William Church announces later on in the year, there's gonna be another full length record. And that's what I'm bringing you guys to now. Last week, I believe, maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago, I got this in the mail and I've been holding off to do another unboxing with you all, my friends on here on YouTube. And we are gonna unbox together. The brand new Haunt album. Already their fourth full length album in like two years. And probably, in my opinion, this is Haunt going into a more melodic direction. This is like Haunt kicking ass and just fucking arena rock, MTV A's classic arena rock direction. An album that should be full of radio and MTV hits. We're talking about 2020's second full-length album from the band, BAM! Mind Freeze. Dude. Another kick, killer kick-ass release from Trevor and the Boys in Haunt. There's the back. Song titles, Flashback, Winner's Breath, Electrified, One With The Universe. My favorite track on this album, well no. Next is Spend a Fortune. And then my favorite track on this album, Figuring a Painting. Sweet Embrace and the Great Beyond. Great album, dude. Haunt killing it with another classic fucking release. So anyway, let's unbox this bitch and we'll see what it's like. I can't even really remember what vinyl pressing I got of this. But we're getting ready to find out, aren't we? So, like always, take the guitar pick. And what do you do before you... Remember what I've always taught you guys. You gotta penetrate the slit. So first you rub the slit real good. Ooh. Ooh. You gotta rub the slit. Get it ready. Got the guitar pick. Best way to open vinyl. I use these Fender Heavies, my favorites. You gotta 
They're gonna penetrate the slit real good. Hang on. Don't wanna damage the insides. That's what she said. Gotta, hang on. Okay. Oh, perfect. Hang on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Benjamin, oh, there you go, right down the middle. Got it. Unboxing, Haunt's brand new album, Flashback. First time I'm seeing it, same. first time you guys are seeing it, because I've been waiting for you all. Take the shrink wrap off. Whoosh. Cool, check it out. Love that album cover. This could possibly be my favorite Haunt album cover. I don't know. They always have such cool artwork, it's hard to say. But I love the skeleton and the cool hourglass and shit. Very cool. And this is the first Haunt release I believe that was released on their um, their own independent record label, Haunt Recordings. So congrats to the guys. And my cat Barnabas is in here now. Hopefully it doesn't fuck nothing up. Got the cool, awesome inner. Check it out. Got the cool lyrics in there. Kind of got like a Egyptian motif going on. An Egyptian motif. Ooh, I really like this kind of artwork. This kind of reminds me of like the end of Ghostbusters. Whenever, you know, the Ghostbusters go on top of Dana Barrett's apartment building and they got to face Gozer, the go Gozer, the Gargarian, whatever the fuck her name is. Are you a god? And then Ray goes, no. Damn it, Ray. Anytime someone asks if you're a god, you say yes. Ghostbusters, one of the greatest movies of all time. Actually, next year, I can't wait for Ghostbusters Afterlife. Kick ass. But anyway, this kind of reminds me of like what's on top of Dana Barrett's apartment. In Ghostbusters, where they meet Gozer the Gargarian, whatever the fuck her name is, and Stay Puft Marshall Land. So there's that. So then we pull out, okay. Ooh, all right, flashback comes in a classic. Look at that, always, I love the way that looks in a black light. In a classic whoosh, white slave. And let's check this out. Which vinyl pressing did I order a flashback? I can't remember. Oh, man. Oh, 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 check it out. Gotta get it from my cat. My cat Barnabas is in here hanging out. Yeah, I remember now, I remember this is the beer. This is just straight up beer because I love beer and later on I'm gonna drink me some beer. I'm probably gonna have me a couple Little Kings and maybe a couple Coors Lights and some bourbon and diets. Check it out, dude. Beautiful. Another beautiful release from Trevor and the boys in Haunt. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the conclusion of today's episode of Radical Rock and Record Reviews with me, Wild Ride Bassist, Nick Watkins. And you know what? I hope you guys check out Haunt. You know, go support modern heavy metal, the new wave of traditional heavy metal and support haunt and I can't wait for these guys to get on tour because you know I've seen most of my favorite bands of all time I've seen them in concert but haunt is a band that is now on my bucket list and I cannot wait to see haunt and party with them afterwards so check it out haunts on my bucket list haunt you gotta go on tour and come to Louisville Kentucky or at least close get that tour you had going on with what was it? Uh, Night Demon, Bewitcher, and Satan. Let's get that going for 2021. Awesome. Well, guys, there you go. The Haunt releases. We'll go over them again. 2020's Flashback. 2020's Mind Freeze. 2019's Mosaic Vision. 2019's If Icarus Could Fly. 2018's Burst in the Flame I can feel the pain and 2018's Luminous Eyes guys I want to thank you for joining me oh and another thing the other day the other day Radical Rockin' Record Reviews passed 100 subscribers guys I want to thank you so much when I started this channel, I didn't know what it was going to be. I didn't know if I would have 20 subscribers for the next five fucking years. But you guys did it. 100 subscribers. Now I think we're up to like 100, 
114, 113, 114, and the numbers keep rising, the views on the videos keep rising, the comments on the videos keep rising. Thank you all so much. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Get up. That's just uh, Steven Tyler. Says to Wayne and Garth on Wayne's World 2. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Rock and roll. I will see you guys later. And I'm going to go out and bring me some Little Kings and a cool slide and a bourbon and diet. <laughs> See you guys next time.